Hello, welcome to Winnie Your 2024. Now, this class is not about motivation. I'm not here to motivate you. Rather, I'm here to share with you some basic formulas, some basic principles that if you put into use, you are going to smash your 2024. See, the, the greater bulk of my 2023, I committed into researching success strategies, practical success strategies, winning, winning goals and achieving goals. I read books on achieving goals. I took courses on achieving goals. I deliberately studied those who are actually, who have the results I want to have. And everything I learned, I put together. It was actually a conversation we had in the Visionary Parents Academy, which means if you are here, you are either coming from the Visionary Parents Academy or you are privileged to be enjoying some of the things we do there. So, I, and after the conversation, I decided that, okay, or rather we agreed that I was going to put it into video, sharing these things I have come to learn. And it is these principles I am going to um, commit to this 2024 coming. There are principles, I formulas and principles I want to commit to because I actually want to see results. So if you also are like me, who want to be committed to them, who want to see results in 2024, I need someone to hold you by your hand, like an accountability partner or something like that. I need that. I definitely need that. So what you want to do is to leave in the comment section that, hey, you would like us to partner to become accountable to each other so that we can smash those goals we are setting for 2024. Please don't come to my, don't send me a WhatsApp message. Don't come to my, um, send me a private message or email or WhatsApp. No, just leave it here. Leave it here in the comment that you would like us to be accountable to each other and I'll reach out to you. And we'll take it up from there. My name is Elimia Orebo and I am the lead coach at the Visionary Parents Academy, an academy where we work with parents, we consult for them, we mentor them, we coach them, we help them set, create their parenting vision, create goals, create um, plans, master their emotions, connect with their children, build relationships, be the best versions they can be for themselves and for their children. That is all what we do. And we are open for our 2024 class. Yes. So if you have not joined us, if you are not with us, you want to, first of all, pause this video, go and join us. Ask, how can I join you? Because it's a class you want to be. It's definitely a class you want to be. Like I said, this video was um, one of the conversations we had the uh, last week. And so we are following up with a video, how to win your 2024. This is not about parenting goals or anything. It's just about how to win your 2024 generally. Before I continue, I'm also an author, an author of best-selling books, children's books, and parents' books. And I also work with school children, teaching them manners, etiquette, sexuality education, leadership skills, and building healthy characters. So if you are a parent or you are a teacher, you are a school owner, you want to reach out to me and find out how we can partner so that we can actually raise the children who become the adults we want to see. We can raise global leaders and change agents. The first thing I want to talk about here today is that we have two types of goal setters. I categorize them into two. We have the committed goal setters and we have the mere goal setters. Now, the committed goal setters are the ones who actually set their goals and they make efforts to achieve their goals. However, sometimes they don't achieve their goals because they have they lack basic knowledge, which I'll be sharing here today. Why the mere goal setters are the ones who just set goals because hey, it's trending. Everybody is setting goals for the new year. Everybody is uh, making resolutions for the new year. Everybody is talking about vision board, vision board patches, and all of that. They just jump into trend, they make trends, and that is it. They don't really, they are not committed. They don't have a strong why. They don't have a strong motivation. So these are the type of goal setter. So the first thing you want to do now is to identify what type of goal setter are you? Are you a committed goal setter or a mere goal set? Get a, a, a mere goal setter. You just set your goals because everybody is setting their goals, and you don't have a strong why. You don't have a strong motivation. So if you are a mere goal setter, so you will actually be wasting your time. Watching me. You waste your time, you waste your data. So I want to encourage you to run off to social media, TikTok, Facebook, or anywhere and go watch some funny skits and make yourself happy. <laughs> but if you are a committed goal setter, yes, you set your goals, you are really committed to them. You actually want to smash your goals year in, year out, but you realize that mm, sometimes you are not able to smash your goals. It's always a struggle or there is something that you are not able to pinpoint. So I'm talking to you and I want to encourage you to stay in this class from the beginning to the end. And if you want someone to hold you, let's push ourselves. You want to leave it in the comment section that I want to be pushed and I, I'm ready to push you. It's free. We just need to be committed. I just need you to be committed to smashing your goals. 
that's the very first thing I want you to know. Now, one of the things I actually want you to know that for every goal you have, there are stages. There are stages. So one of the very first problems a lot of people have or challenges a lot of people have is not knowing the stage you are in your goal setting. Not knowing the, know your goal setting. In your goal, in your vision, at the end of the year, you say, okay, I have this particular vision. This is where I want to be at the end of 2024. So it's a journey that takes you from where you are now, a journey from where you are to actually that point you want to be in 2024. So the journey is in stages. You just don't jump from where you are to where you want to be. Now, this is the challenge or this is the problem very many people have. And this is the problem I have had for a very long time. Not knowing that, hey, achieving your goal, it takes stages, it takes processes. And identifying the process where you are is key, is important, is paramount to um, achieving your goals. Now, if you don't know the stage you are, you are just going to be, um, should I use the word rigmaroling? You realize that you are not going to be able to achieve your goal. Now, the first thing we are doing now, or rather the second thing, I keep saying the first thing. The second thing is for us to talk about the stages and you identify the stage you are. The very first stage is the realization stage or the stage I call the wake up stage. It's the stage where you realize, mm, I, I'm not finding fulfillment. I don't feel fulfilled. I feel empty. I feel there's something I should be doing. I feel like I'm made for more. I feel I can actually do a lot of things you just feel there's an emptiness inside of you you feel you can make impact you feel there is something that you need to do you feel that you you you, you should be living better you should be making better um, living um, a better life or you just realize you're not comfortable with the with the place you are you're not comfortable with your life that is the first wake up state that wakes you up to say oh or it can even be you see someone doing something you just admire the person i like this thing this person is doing i admire this person i actually want to be this i want to be better i want to move from where i am that is the very first wake up stage so if you are here it is assumed that you are not in that wake up stage you probably have passed that wake up stage now the next stage is the clarity stage the clarity stage because many times a lot of people um they wake up they know that they're actually made for more they know that they are they are they are doing less than they should be doing their life is worth more than their cor their current life but at the end of the day they don't have the clarity they don't know what am i supposed to do now wake up stage is where a lot of people wake up but they get stuck they think, oh, I know what I'm doing. They are just copying. Okay, everybody is doing this. Let me go and do that. They don't know if they can actually do that. If they have the skills, if they have the capacity, if doing that is their reality. One of the things about actually pushing purpose or doing something is your temperament comes to play a great, a great deal, a great role in it. They don't know, okay, is this thing, does it align with me? Is it, will, is it something I can actually maintain or be consistent with or something or consistent art or something? Now, this is the clarity stage where you actually now sit down and define. It, it's one thing for very many people who wake up. We wake up, but when we wake up, we do not get clarity. It's important to get clarity. One of the things that happens is when you wake up, you haven't gotten clarity, you are going to be confused. You are going to co be copycatting. You are going to see yourself doing a lot of things, trying your hands everywhere. So, for example, you have a goal to reach a particular mile at the end of the, mo at the, end of the year or something. You have just woken up and set your goal, but you don't have a clarity on what particularly you can do or how you can go about it. You are going to be stuck copying doing one thing doing another thing just trying to live a life that is not yours not being authentic to yourself you are not going to find your your your, your style at the end of the day if you haven't gotten clarity so you are not going to find your style you are just in that your wake up realization there, there your re realm of realization okay i know i'm more than this i know i should be doing this i know so you have woken up now when you wake up the very first thing you want to do is to find clarity Find clarity, find your purpose, you know, and it's pretty easy. Like for very many, you can go online, you can look for, go online, get researches on how to find clarity, to know what you are good at, 
what you are caught for, what you should be doing. You know, we, we, I've heard a lot of people talk about finding clarity, or that a lot of the books I've read or the courses I've taken, to find clarity, they will tell you what course you study in the university. That could be something. What are you passionate about? That could be something. What is one thing that you can do? You don't care. You don't remember time is going. You don't remember you are hungry and all of that. That could be your clarity. That could be your purpose. What is that thing that actually causes you um, so much pain? What is the mistake you have made in the past or the pain you experienced in the past? You don't want, you actually feel your life could be a lesson to others. That is clarity. There's a formula for it actually. That is clarity. So what you need to do is to get your clarity. So the first step you have is your wake up call. Waking up is not enough for you to jump and start setting goals and start running. No. When you wake up, you need to identify what phase are you, what stage. Are you in the wake up stage? Are you in the clarity stage? When you wake up, don't set your goals. No. If you are setting your goals, set goals towards clarity. That is the goal you are setting. This 2024, I want to be clear on my purpose. So we are going to talk about how you are going to get that, how you are going to get clear on your purpose in 2024 um, in the course of the class. The next phase you are after clarity, I said wake up stage or realization stage, I said clarity stage. Now the next stage you are is self-development. You are clear on what you want to do. So now you actually want to develop yourself, you want to be authority in that area. You want to be able to actually offer, you want to impact, you want to earn whatever is it you want to do even if it's you want to lose weight or something whatever you want to do you want to research you want to commit to research commit to learning knowing how you are clear you know it's not just enough to say okay i'm actually clear i know what i want you need to commit to research learning find out people who are there who are doing it what do they know you actually want to now um submit yourself in knowledge in clarity, what do you, in sorry, self development <laughs> or self empowerment? What do you want to do with this? We are clear your purpose. So, what do you want to do with your purpose? You want to make an impact, you want to let me learn, okay? Or, um, you just develop yourself, be so much grounded that at the end of the day, you become an authority in that field. So, you commit yourself to self development. That is the third stage in your goal setting. The next stage in your goal setting is the stage of self-selling. Self-selling. Because if you look at it, actually, no one writes a, la a, a lamp and put it under the bushel. Nobody will see you. It is it. It is what it is. Now look at people, people who are actually doing big in their area. It is because they are known. It is because they are visible. It's because people know them. You can actually be clear on your purpose. You can research, develop, have solution to cancer or have solution to COVID-19. If nobody knows you that you have this solution, you are not going to get anywhere. Is the simple truth. So you have this, you have, you have this um, knowledge. You are clear. You're, you've woken up. You are clear on your purpose. You've developed yourself. You are now hot, boiling hot. You are fire. Then the next thing you need to begin to sell yourself. Find out how to sell myself. What do I do to be in the faces of people? How do people know me? How do would they know me? How would they learn about me? That is the next phase you actually need in your goals, um, your goal, your 2024 goal setting. Now the next phase you need is the phase of I call it production, where you produce. Now you've done your networking. You know, I'm um, sorry, you've done your um selling you've sold yourself you sold yourself through networking through attending events everything networking offering free services um you know being active on social media you sold yourself the next thing you want to do now is you want to begin to um selling yourself also include branding self-branding branding yourself in such a manner that okay this is what i do now i want to be someone they can people can you know, you are selling yourself. You maybe you, you speak at an event, you are talking to them about who you are and all of that. People are coming to actually check on you. They see that okay, you have the you look like what you claim you are. Or if not even speaking at an event, you talk to people, you tell people who you are, they want to come and do a background check. They realize that you look like who you say you are. You are exactly who you say you are. These are all part of selling yourself. Now the next one is producing. 
you are selling yourself. So you sold yourself, you are out there, what do you want to do? You want to start creating, you want to start creating things, creating offers, maybe write books, um, open shops, do a lot of things because you've been talking about yourself. You have built yourself so much that people now trust you. At this point, people are the ones that will even be asking you. Like, I remember I went for a seminar and listened to one man. After listening to the man, I sent him a DM. I asked him, do you have a book on this topic? He said no, but he was writing a book. I've asked several people. When I listened to people, I said, wow, this man is really powerful. And they just, most times they just give free events. They give free, they speak at events for free. And I asked them, do you have this particular book? I remember the first time I heard about um, apartment theory. It was a long time ago. So I went to the inbox of them. I said, okay, um, can I, do you have a book? Do you have a resource I can, I can read more on this attachment theory? He said, no, because I'm actually a parenting coach, mentor and consultant. So when I talk about attachment theory, you know where I'm coming from. He said, no, he had no, he, he didn't have um, resources on it. That's what I'm talking about. So after you have sold yourself, because when you sell yourself, so much that people are hungry for what you carry. People will be ready to pay you for what you carry. Then you cannot go, um, you cannot start producing things that when people come to you, you just have something. Because there, there, there is a level you will get in visibility, in networking, in selling yourself, that people will always come to seek solutions from you. And the truth of the matter is, if you want to keep giving people solutions for free, you realize that you spend your entire day giving solutions for free. You will not be able to move on with your life. You won't be able to pay your bills. You won't be able to take care of your family and things like that. You will just be giving solutions for free. Except you want to give solutions for free, then you actually structure your time to make sure that, okay, the time for giving solutions doesn't clash with your other time or other um, money-making time. You know, money makes the world go round. We all know that. So you want to now produce things, produce materials that you <clears throat> you will um, use to monetize this. Your wake up, your clarity, your self development, your self selling, and then you into production. Now the last thing you want to do is you are cashing out. <laughs> This is the last phase. Now, this is it. Now, one of the things that actually happens is this, that very many people, including me, one of the mistakes we made a long time ago is after your clarity, after your um, self-development, we did not bother to sell ourselves. We just jumped from self-development to start um, thinking of how to produce and cash out because the truth of the matter is when you are working, when you are developing yourself you will so you will be so inspired you will have so much you will be so eager to give after your self development you will be so eager to give you will be so eager to produce so many people make that mistake in their goal setting you, you, you all you have gotten so far is um, all you have got so far is self development you don't know the next phase you need to do, the next thing you need to do. And the next thing you are already thinking, you are already putting figures. This is my year of making one million era. This is my year of making hundred million era. This is my year of making a billion era. You don't know that you have passed a major stage that will help you make that money. That major stage that, stage that will help you make money, like every other stage, requires a great deal of sacrifice on a different level. So far, I've talked to you about the six stages of realizing your goals. The awakening stage, the um, clarity stage, the self-development stage, the self-marketing stage, the um, production stage, and of course the um, cashing out stage or harvesting stage. Now, these are not something, this class is not something you will get from any book, it's not something you get from any other author, any course, kind of, really. It is a product of my one year intensive research on success, on how people make their success. <laughs> now, however, understanding the phase you are is not all there is to is. There are questions you need to answer for every single phase you are. There are questions you need to answer. Answering these questions is actually what will help you smash your goal. So before you set your goal for 2024, you want to sit down and ask yourself, I have woken up, do I have clarity? If you don't have clarity, then you want to set your goal on clarity. 
you want to set your goal on clarity. I need to be clear on my purpose. Then when you are clear on purpose, then you need to set your second goal on self-development. I need to develop myself in this field so much so that I'm an authority. After this, developing yourself, then you need to set the remaining, you, you need to set another goal on, on, on visibility. Lighting your lamp and putting it on the city hill, you need to set that goal. When you set that goal, then before you can start talking, because like I told you, one of the mistakes I made was after self-development, I went straight into, produ um, into producing and expecting to cash out. You can produce, but the likelihood, the tendency of you cashing out is going to be very, very limited. It's going to be almost not there if you are putting your lamp under a bushel because nobody is seeing you, nobody is knowing you. So what you want to identify is what stage are you? Are you, are you, or one of the things that people, many people, sometimes they know they, they are clear, but they are not confident. It may be because you have not committed to self-development. So what do you want to do? That time you used to scroll on Facebook morning till night. You know, that time you used to go to friends to gossip. That time you used to look for every... Um, just do things. You actually want to commit that time to learning more, taking courses, researching. Even that money you used to buy... Brazilian hair or woman hair or things like that. You need to be able to defer and um, delay gratification. Okay, this is my year of self development. Let me channel all my money to self development. Let me leave my human hair for now. When I start cashing out, I'm going to get the human hair. Now, after your 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 self development, don't run into attempting to cashing out. It is what a lot of people do. You have an idea. You are clear on what you want. The next thing you are running about cashing out. No. No, you are going to get frustrated, you are going to get stranded. That is one of the major challenges. That was one of the major challenges I faced for a long time. I was working from, I, I worked from self-development to cashing out. Then I forgot, I worked from self-development to production and to cash. After, after production, of course, it's cashing out because it's in production, you think of, okay, am I, what am I going to do? Like, I'm using myself as a parent coach. I'm looking at like, what am I going to do? I'm going to write books. I'm going to create courses. I'm going to um, do one-on-one -on -one consultation and all of that. No, you actually do all of that in your cashing out. Sorry, in, in your production, you do all of that. So after self-development, there's a major thing you need to do. That major thing is you selling yourself out there. And like I was saying, there's a how, why, when, what, who, and all of that to all those things. Now, in whatever stage you are, you have some questions to answer. For example, let's look at you are in the wake-up stage. That is the stage of confusion. You just know that there is something about you that is not, you are not fulfilled. You want to do something. So you want to sit down and answer the basic questions. What, why am I not feeling fulfilled? What is it about me? What do I need to do? Who do I meet to do? And who do I meet to? And who do I need to meet? When do I meet the person? Where do I meet this person? Or who? Okay, I'm confused. Who do I need? Or what do I need? Or where? Or why do I need to get clarity? Even if you're in your clarity stage, you still have the same questions to answer. Okay, I'm in my clarity stage. Okay, I've found purpose. This is what I want. What is the next thing for me to do? Okay, the next thing for me to do is to begin to look for people. So, people who are um, who are clear, who are on this path, who are on this path that I'm trying to go into, who are clear on this path, I'm going to look for them. Where do I find them? Um, how do I find them? When do I find them? Or what books do I read? What courses do I read? How do I, what routine do I build to actually help me understand my clarity? What routine do I create to help me develop myself? What books do I need to read? I'm in my self-development now. I found my clarity. This is my clarity. So what, who do I follow on social media? Who do I follow online? Um, how much will I be required to invest in my self-development? Um, what books do I read? Do, can, do, can I... I mean, can I afford the money I'm required to, I mean, to I mean, for my self-development? I cannot afford the money yet. Are there free bees I can, I can assess to develop myself? Is there something I can do to help me make money to invest in my self-development? There are a lot of all these questions you have to answer. Any stage you are, in your clarity stage, you still have these questions to answer. In your self-development stage, you have these questions to answer. In your selling yourself phase, you have these questions to answer. Okay, I am good at what I do now. What is the next thing for me to do? Who do I meet? Why do I choose to meet this kind of, kind of person? Will this person be able to help me sell myself? What, what, would, what will I be required 
to to um to do if I meet this person? Which group will I be required to join? What are the things I'm doing that are helping me, that are sabotaging me, that are not helping me develop, that are not helping me um, self-develop, that are not helping me gain clarity? What are the things I'm doing that are not helping me build um, visibility, that I'm not able to network? What are those things? Okay, what are the things I need to start doing? Because habits, habit makes a man. That is the truth of the matter. Habit makes a man. So if you look at your habits, what you do, your routine, things you do day in, day out, you realize the kind of results you are likely going to get. That is the truth. No matter what you are, no matter what you do, if you say, okay, this year is the year I want to be, I want to sell myself. I want to be very visible this year. That is what I want to do. Okay, that's your year. Then you sit back, you wake up from in, in, in the morning, you pick your phone, you are scrolling on social media, laughing as kids and doing all of that that's what you are doing you are not going to be able to achieve that thing you want to achieve or let's say, okay this year i want to develop myself so much that i'm an authority in my field and then you wake up in the morning you pick let's say you want you are looking at um mm, let's say you want to talk you want to go into marriage ministry or want to go into parent coaching or something and then you wake up in the morning the first thing you listen to maybe is music the first thing, whatever it is you're looking for maybe and um, fitness maybe how to cook or things that are not in line with what you want to do it, another thing is okay, let's look at it this way let's say you have um, friends you have activities you always participate in and what you actually want to achieve at the end of the day is self-development i want to be so knowledgeable in this thing yet you spend a bulk of your time chatting with friends going to visit friends and these things are not in line with how you are going to develop yourself towards your purpose that you want what do you think at the end of the day will happen so during the end of at the end of the year you are not going to achieve your goals at all you are not going to be able to achieve your goal so one thing you need to do is identify what stage are you and like i also said earlier on the stage you are determines the goals you are going to set the routines you are going to build. If you understand your self-development, for example, then you want to understand why, what, how, when, who of that particular self-development. What books do I need to read? Who do I need to meet, meet to mentor me? And all of that. Then you create your routine around that. You commit to that. You create your routine around that. You look at your time. There's something we do in the Visionary Parent Academy at the start. We have a, a, a sheet that um a sheet that tracks our daily our daily life like track your daily life then you look it's actually one of our emotions control um, resource you track your daily life and you look at the things you do like there are things that are just time wasters you don't need to do them you don't need to do them they are time wasters they just waste your time if you look if you're able to track your day for a week or even for a month you realize that you spend a great deal of time on social media wasting time wasting time Listening to um, skits, laughing, arguing, trolling people and all of that. Then when you now sit back and look at your own goals for the year, you realize that that has no place in your goals at all. The goal you want to achieve for the year, that trolling, skits and laughing, all of that, they have no place in it. So what do you want to do? You want now want to sit back and replace those time those uh, those particular time you spend wasting want to replace them with things that will actually push you to your goal so at the end of this class i have a template is I'm, I'm going to give us to help us hopefully to help us at smash our goals to 24 so it is only for the visionary parents uh, visionary parents so if you want it we have a lot of things within the visionary parents because we also believe in self-growth if you grow you cannot be parenting with a vision without you growing because you want to model some things to your children a lifestyle to your children definitely so if you want to model a certain lifestyle if you want to teach your children a certain lifestyle and modeling is one of the keys to actually modifying behavior so teaching your children what you want them to learn so you have to first of all live the life so that they can learn from you so if you are thinking of if you're thinking of raising children who are mega stars who are global leaders chain agents and who are doing big in their different endeavors you want to actually grow and do big in your own space so one of the things we are committed to is self-growth self-growth we need you to grow so that you can model growth to your children so like i said we have a template i'm going to use for us to um we have a template to use this emotion mastery so i'm going to also be sharing some templates here with anyone in the visionary parent academy just reach out for the template on smashing your goals we are going to uh, we are going to have it where you can identify the stage you are in your in your goal level 
after identify and after identifying the stage you are, then you know, um, you know, you begin to answer the questions of who, how, why, when, where, what, and how, and all of that. I hope this class has been helpful. I hope it has been empowering. If it has been helpful, please leave it in the comment section that it has been helpful. If you have questions to ask further questions, leave them in the comment section also. I always come and take your questions. And um, if there's any observations, also leave it in the comment section. I'll be glad to take your observations to understand. I'll be glad to know what you think about <laughs> um, parenting with any mere or rebel. This is Parenting with Enemy or Rebel. If you are new here, welcome to the best place to get your parenting resources. You can check our previous videos and you'll be glad you are here. You'll be greatly empowered. What you want to do is to subscribe to this channel so that you always get our videos when we have them uploaded. I tell you, you are going to be highly blessed and empowered. You can also do where to share, 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 share. Share your statuses, share your stories, share your group, share your timelines, share everywhere. Be generous. Let people know you are enjoying something or you enjoyed something today. Share our link so that other parents can come to watch and enjoy what you enjoyed today. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your coming back is actually or means a lot to me. It shows me that I'm doing something and someone is learning from here. So I'm, I'm, I'm empowered. I'm inspired to do more. Thank you so much again. My name is Amy Horrible. See you next time. Bye-bye.